What is up, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to about this upcoming DraftKings NBA slate. So this is a nice, basically, it's a nice eight gamer. I definitely like this slate overall. It's an interesting slate that I've, I've been going over lately or tonight lately. Um, basically, the matchups are pretty well, in my opinion. I like the way that they are styled, and overall, I'm pretty much liking this slate overall. Um, before we begin, like usual, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's been a ton. As y'all know, we have a new segment, like I said, with WWE that I'm doing videos for. Pretty excited about that. Still have the showdown content for NBA. Still have everything like usual. Just digging into slates, digging into other sports. Just pretty much happy overall about it. So I know why y'all are here. Obviously, let's dig into this NBA slate. <coughs> so starting with the Charlotte and the Kings. So, I like this game, but the matchups or the prices are just man, in my opinion. But let's start with the Kings. 9100 for De'Aaron Fox. Not bad, in my opinion. I definitely do like that. Harrison Barnes at 6'6". He's getting consistent minutes. I don't mind him at six, at that price point. I don't mind Buddy Heald here. I'd much rather get the Rashawn Holmes, though, who I know can give you more points per minute. But overall... I'm mainly looking at De'Aaron Fox and Rashawn Holmes. Halliburton's still in the minutes restriction. I don't like that at all, so I'm pretty much off of him. On the Charlotte side of the ball, Lamella ball, 8-7. Not a bad price point, but the minutes do scare me because he's kind of hovering around now to like 25-ish, <coughs> so that does scare me. Gordon Hayward, not really for me. Terry Rozier, Devontae Graham, Malink Monk. All these guys are just similar plays on this Hornets team because of they're all playing similar minutes, around 20 minutes each, which that's what scares me, is there's so many guys that are wanting to share the ball that the, the points, the fantasy points are just going to get sp- scattered around. So I'm not really on this team overall, like I said, other than the mobile. Milwaukee and Washington. Giannis Antetokounmpo, I don't mind him whatsoever at 11-1. You can certainly get to him in the smash spot. Chris Middleton, I can't get to really. They would Drew Holiday back, which I do like Drew Holiday at 6-5 with no minutes restriction. That's definitely in play. DiMincenzo, Brooke Lopez, just man plays, in my opinion. I'm much rather get to Bobby Portis in a blowout game who is going to get good minutes. The rest of the guys aren't really for me. Like I said, Greek Freak, Middleton, or Holiday, and maybe some Portis. Washington side, still have no Ishmith, Neto, questionable, and Souls Bertons. I'm not really on Bradley Beal. He didn't look good last game. And now that he's getting his minutes and he's taken away from Russell Westbrook, which Westbrook went off with no Beal. I don't imagine him going for 70 once again when Beal back in play. I don't really like this Washington team. I mean, we saw Alex Lynn see 30 minutes somehow last game. Their, their center rotation's all messed up. We don't know what we're going to get out of them. New York and Brooklyn. On the New York side of the ball, uh, Julius Randle, definitely in play at 90. I love that. I love quickly at 5'6". Definitely a great play with no possibly Alfred Payton and Derrick Rose question or Derrick Rose out. RJ Barrett and play at 6 2. I really get to quickly though. No one's no he's getting minutes taken away from Taj Gibson, so he's not really for me. Neither, neither is Reggie Bullock. Brooklyn side, James Harden, Kyrie, both guys obviously in play. I'm much rather get the Kyrie though at a price point. DeAndre Jordan seeing good minutes at 5 3 now. Bruce Brown, I don't trust neither. I don't trust Joe Harris. Jeff Green, he's still getting consistent minutes of 4,000. I don't mind him. But much rather get to Claxton, though, who is getting you around 20 minutes and being a point per minute guy like his Bobby Porter sort of guy. So I don't mind him. San Antonio and Detroit. San Antonio, not really a team I'm not on. I mean, I'm not on them as much, especially with DeRozan now possibly coming back. So he could be back within this five-game span. We don't know, really know. John T. Murray, though, at 7-7, not a bad price point, but really – didn't look good last game. Pirtle, I don't like the matchup for him. Derek White has been awful other than last last night, so he's hard to trust. Kelvin Johnson's not getting good minutes, nor is he getting up good fantasy points. So I don't really like this first team. Detroit side of the ball, I do like this team a little bit, though. I do like me some Jeremiah Grin at 7-5. He's definitely in play. Plumey, he's in play in this matchup. I don't mind him. DeLon Wright's seeing 30 minutes. I like that. The rest of the guys are just questionable. Stewart, 4-1. He's getting consistent value minutes, but it's hard to trust a 4-1. Clippers and Dallas. Dallas, you know how it goes. Luka and Zingas, it's all I trust. It's all I want on this team. I'm not trusting anybody else unless somebody else is out. And obviously, Luka and Zingas are playing, so I'm only on them too. On the Clippers side, 
kind of a similar story. I do like Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. I like Paul George, though, at his price point compared to Kawhi Leonard. Serge Ibaka's out, so that could boost up a tomb. We could see that basically get him get consistent more minutes now, so I don't mind Batum. I don't mind me some Reggie Jackson at 5-2. He looked good last game with no Pat Bev. I definitely do like him. On the Nets game, Indiana and Denver. Let's look at Indiana. Sabonis went from over 40 minutes last game. I like him here at 9-6. Brogdon and Levert, kind of a similar play. I don't mind either guy, though. No one, Neither one stands out to me, though. Miles Turner, I don't trust him against Jokic. All the other guys are just not in play to me. Denver in India or Denver. Jokic smash spot. Definitely get to him. Jamal Murray, 7-9. I don't like him based on how he's been playing recently. Will Barton's been looking good, though. I'm not going to lie. 5-3, he's in play. Paul Millsap and Michael Porter Jr. I can't do it. I really can't do it. Memphis and Phoenix. Moving on to this game. Jay Morant and Joval have been looking good in this matchup, though. That kind of scares me. Dylan Brooks, Brandon Clark, Kyle Anderson, all the similar guys. I don't really like much of them. I'd rather get to Desmond Bain, who's been starting at 4-1. He's been in consistent value. Melton's still been good off the bench. I, let, I definitely do like him on that side of the team. Phoenix, DeAndre Ayton, his minutes have been going down. 6-3 is a good price point. I know people are going to jump on it, but his minutes are literally going down. Dario Sarge is taking his minutes and closing out the games. I love me some Dario, Sar- Dario Sarge. Dan Booker, Chris Ball, give me Chris Ball any day over Devin Booker. And I don't really like much else on this team. Looking on to the next game, which is the Lakers and Golden State. On Golden State, Steph Curry, I don't like him at 10,000. I don't trust it. Dr- Draymond Green, 6-5, has looked good. I definitely do like him. James Wiseman has looked good at 5-1. I don't mind him either. Kelly Oubre, I don't mind taking a shot at him, but the matchup is just mad to me. Like your side of the ball, LeBron James, he didn't look good last game. Uh, I don't like that price tag for him. Short air, Harold Kuzma, I like all of them. I like me some Dennis Short air, though. I like me some Montrez Harold in this matchup. And that's pretty much wraps up this slate for us, guys. So, again, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. It's been a ton, as you all know. Have a great and safe rest of your night. Have a good one, everybody.